It's 1240 in the afternoon and in the Islamic center of Tucson, a time to pray. Muslims have a strict daily prayer schedule, five times a day at specific times. And one of those times is in the middle of the school day. In this room off the library at Desert View High School, four to six Muslim students pray during every school day for about 10 minutes. Sunnyside School District officials tell the News 4 Tucson investigators that all but one of the students pray during their lunch period. The other misses a few minutes of a class. They failed to let the community know what was going on. Sunnyside community activist Richard Hernandez says some parents complained to him about allowing prayer in school and that the district should have told parents beforehand. Anything that happens to your child, it is this obligation of this school and any school district in Pima County to tell the parents. Our policy is very clear about allowing and accommodating this. Sunnyside's acting superintendent, Jeannie Favela, says she hasn't directly received a single complaint about allowing school prayer. She only heard about it secondhand. And she says she didn't think a public notice to parents was warranted. Favela was first told about the current prayer group in an email this month from a Desert View principal. SUSD's freedom of expression policy states, students are to be permitted to pray or engage in religious activities or expression in the same manner and to the same extent as students are permitted to engage in non-religious activities or expression before, during, and after the school day. It is not a violation in the sense that we are not promoting it. It would be a separation, uh, a violation of church and state issues if we were promoting these views. There's been significant confusion and misinformation about prayer in schools. Some people think it's not allowed. That's partly because the Supreme Court in 1962 ruled that official prayer had no place in public education. But the court did not rule that students are forbidden to pray on their own. It removed only government or school-sponsored prayer. The separation of church and state prohibits schools from promoting religion. Alex Luchinitzer is with Americans United for the separation of church and state. This probably does not present any constitutional problem as long as the same accommodation would be given to any other religion. Dr. Favela in Sunnyside says if any students wanted to have a group of non-religious activity, the district would need to accommodate them. And she says if any parent has questions about the praying going on at Desert View, she'd be happy to answer them. Just contact her office. Remember, if you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call 955-4444. Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson.